Oh my god, can you believe this? A better and faster alternative to binary search in just oh, one, time. That's right, a new discovery that will change the fundamentals of the programming world. We know binary search works by narrowing down the search range by half each time. Given a sorted array, the algorithm compares the middle element of the array to the target value. If the middle element is less than the target value, then the search continues on the right half of the interval. If the middle element is greater than the target value, then the search continues on the left half of the interval. If the middle element is the target value, the search is successful. The time complexity of the binary search is O log 2 N, since the algorithm repeatedly divides the search space in half at each step. Now we can make the process faster with a trinary search. It's just like binary search, but we split the search range into three parts instead of two, and now we have a time complexity of O log 3 N. Nice. nice. What if we keep extending this concept and increase the search range into N parts? We have n binary search and the time complexity will be O log N N. Now, using the magic of logarithmic identities, we know log n, n, is equal to 1, and we can simplify the time complexity of the n-nary search to O, 1. That's right! A constant time search algorithm that's faster than anything we've ever seen before. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you learned something new today. Of course, today is April 1st, as you might have guessed, this revolutionary n-nary search algorithm is just an April Fool's Day joke. In reality, splitting an array into n parts and performing a search just o, n, time. But it is always fun to imagine the possibilities, right?